Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Unity of Command 2. We're playing the uh, next mission, which we cannot see yet. We're at the conference first. So let's see our and the Russian progression here. Hmm. Alright, well, um, I'm actually not so interested in 1st Para Brigade. Um, but I am interested in that B-26 bomber asset. So let's do it like this for now. We can keep that uh, transport there. So we got four new missions. And yeah, we can see our progress here towards uh, Vienna over here. And then Bavaria down here. And then just this slight push into the Ruhr area up north. Seems like there's still some trouble here in the center. But, uh, right. Operation Stapler. Dash to Berlin. That's what I'm talking about. Alpine Redoubt. And Liberation of Bohemia. Um, so, Operation Stapler will be first. But let's upgrade uh, first as well. So... <clears throat> Dash to Berlin is definitely US third. So I want to upgrade that a bit. Um, let's increase this to 12. Now, I probably don't need counterattack or recon in force. Recon in force has some uses, but uh, I find it often a bit restricting. Because uh, it's just very limited to use. There, there are some times when it can help. But I don't think it's worth the 50 prestige. Um, but definitely getting this to 12 will help quite a bit. Um, okay, so then we have Liberation of Bohemia. And that will probably... Be the British 8th then. And... Let's get you to 11. I also want to spend prestige on point, uh, points for units. Uh, I don't want to overdo it too much. Then the US first. No. Um, hmm. Ah, which army was it now? US 5th Army Guard. So it must be US 5th Army, right, right. US 5th. Actually, it's... It makes... Wait. British 8th can resume its advance. Yeah, exactly. So it's the British 8th and the US 5th at top. Right. It's actually in good order there. But we'll be dealing with a counteroffensive here. Um, so for you guys, let's actually get counterattack. I think that might be. Oh no! No, I want to take that back. Oh. <laughs> okay, it takes you back entirely. Uh, let's redo that then. That's that's okay. It's, that's not a big deal. I'm actually happy that I get to reset to the start of the conference. Alright, let's redo that. British 8th, let's get you and you to 11. Then the US 5th will get counterattack. And also we'll go to 11. Um, then we'll have Alpine Redoubt is the French, US 7th is towards the borders of Czechoslovakia. So 
This is probably fine, and I think the French too. And an operation stapler. Will be the other armies. Let's just take a quick peek at most of them. I can get all of these to 10. Um, that probably helps out a bit, actually. Oh yeah, I was gonna get you to 12. Uh, that will cost another 50. Yeah, we'll be okay. All right, that's it then. Uh, we'll start with Operation Stapler. <clears throat> it's February the 20th, 20th, wow, 1945. As Allied armies pacified the last enemy troops in the Ruhr, it becomes clear that the days of the Third Reich are numbered. Chaos reigns inside Hitler's Germany, and several persons of particular interest to Allied intelligence start plotting their escape. Resistant cells within Germany have identified one such route, leading through the Danish belts to Norway and beyond. Canadian troops are earmarked to capture the strategically important airfield near Aalborg, while the remainder of the Allied armies rush towards evacuation points, ports in the Baltics. Well, I would think that's one of the obvious escape routes. I don't need uh, intelligence cells uh, for that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's vital that we capture this to make sure that uh, not too many of these uh, people escape, definitely. Uh, they might escape to Argentina and live out the rest of their days there. That would be terrible. We would never know about it. This will be a slightly special operation, Commander. Your armies make up the northern shoulder of our advance to the Elbe. In itself, this task poses no particular challenge, but speed is of the essence as enemy VIPs are fleeing through ports in northern Germany. To support your efforts, Canadian forces will launch Operation Stapler, naval landings in Denmark, whose aim is to secure airfields so that we can close down the sea route to Norway by air. In order to ensure success, AFHQ has reinforced the 2nd Canadian Infantry Division. Were they that badly mauled? Oh wait, that must be up here then. Ooh, that's a pretty feisty unit now. I don't know how it was before, but... Uh, well, they can reinforce my units like that any day. <laughs> okay, can't reinforce them yet. I would have to move the British second up. Let's take a look at these guys, because we might not need to upgrade them even that much. Um, and that might be for the best, because this is typically such a map where placing pontoon bridges at the start might be very beneficial. Yeah, my units are actually looking surprisingly fine up here. It's looking good like this. And then what I'll do is I'll move this up a little bit so that these guys are also supported. And now I can actually... Um, you guys are quite powerful too over here. Mm. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather give them something that I don't want to use later on as well. So I want to actually give them something weak. This is their last mission, so I don't want to overcommit here. Um... Or at least, I mean, we might have uh, a special mission at the end, Operation Unthinkable, but we'll get to it uh, when that happens, I suppose. Supplies. 
they're looking good for now, definitely. All right, I guess we're okay here then. Um, Canadian first can be deployed, but that's going to be up north, of course. As for the objectives, we have Hanover, turn three, so we have to get there quickly. Hamburg, turn six. I do still remember the, uh, the river crossings that we had in the historical missions uh, on the Elbe here. So what we need to do is get there quickly so we can get bridge uh, river crossings uh, because of course these there are very limited numbers of actual bridges which will probably be guarded i do remember in the how that worked out in the very last mission of the historical campaign anyway hamburg turns six so that's close to the end of the mission wismark turns six as well so that's Interesting. We actually have to be here at turn six, not here. Unless we go through this side, then we have to do it simultaneously. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's an extra distance that we need to cover on the same turn. So, in that sense, we actually need to be a lot further than Hamburg already by turn six. Wilhelmshaven turn seven, which is interesting because. I'm very likely to cut that off pretty quickly. Kiel on turn 7 and Stendhal turn 7 2. Okay. Alborg Airport take by turn 7 and hold. And Espierre take by turn 2. Alright. Let's get going. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, that ain't happening. Yeah, it should be fine now. I think. Mm, how are you gonna... Take that on turn two is beyond me, but uh, take reward S O E. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> no, that's just uh, yeah, I get to destroy you a bridge for free. Nah, I'm okay. Let's take a look up here. I need decent attacks. A bit sketchy. Like, ideally, they retreat, I get to cross and repair that uh, bridge there. Okay, good. Then around here. I would have to get around these guys for sure. Mm, but you ain't gonna do any damage, but this looks good enough. This doesn't. This is... I'm probably best off just uh, killing these guys now, especially their mobile units. Ah, okay, well, good job. Mm, because I would also like to repair this. I do. N I know I have this other rail line too, but. Getting prisoners also helps me see what's left besides. 
They already used up their rear guard, so... The subsequent attack will severely diminish its strength. If I'm honest, I would like to keep rear guard open for these guys, since I can actually see them assaulting it, maybe. We'll see whether it will become necessary. Not sure, really. Now, ideally, I will push these guys back. So I can attack the tanks. Um, oh, wait, that's just not gonna happen. Never mind. Mm. Yeah, because the tanks aren't exactly there. I would have to repair that this turn and then attack on the next turn. I need to take it on turn three, so I also technically have plenty of time, but I would like to advance a little bit faster than that. I also would like to repair that bridge. If I can help it. Let's try and mostly secure these crossings as well, so we can already cross the river. And that will mean that we're just a little bit further than it would be otherwise. Like it might seem that this advance is not a lot, but I think it will work out well enough. <clears throat> get one unit in here, and you cannot actually get across, but even just doing an attack there is still valuable. Oh, this is not actually a hex down there. <laughs> Right. Okay. I did talk about how I want this to... Never mind. That... Is just out of... Range. That is unfortunate. <coughs> but we'll see. Just checking the remainder of the units. Let's put you back. They might go in here and try to cut off these forces. In that case, it's useful to have at least a supply point in here. And let's also get one here. That will allow me to cancel this one for now. Up north. I still need to drop the Canadian first. And both of them will be deployed on uh, SPR, so that will go for the next turn. 
<clears throat> no, I'm not taking your reward. <laughs> no thanks. At least they got their artillery back. Makes me feel a lot better about it. So they're not likely to attack into me there, either which way, which is nice. I do need to clear out units such as that, regardless. Doesn't have to go immediately, but eventually... Actually, rather sooner than later. They need to be cleared out, and these guys seem to be especially tough to crack. But I don't know how to deal with those. It's a bit unfortunate that I have to use the tanks for that, but there's just no other way. These guys are very powerful, actually. The Falsher Maker, like compared to my regular infantry, their attack and defense value are a lot higher. But they're gone, and that at the very least uh, secures my. <clears throat> my movement here as we move further along so they have a unit at Bremen it means that I cannot cross on this turn but it also means that I want to move right next to that is it actually in range yes it is great because now I need to build pontoon bridges to make sure that I get to cross there very important. If I'm honest, I would like to move towards Stendhal already. I have plenty of forces here to take what I need on turn three. Mm. It's a bit of a waste, I admit, but Let's attack like that anyway. That's good, so you at least retain your movement. Rather go for the mobile unit that might cause the most havoc. Although I will not let Hanover go unless I know that all of the rest has been cleared. Like these guys might go in here, try to cut these guys off, and that's all fine, but a mobile unit can move much further, be potentially much more dangerous. I'll deal with stuff like that later. Okay. I 
Especially with engineers, I want to be careful. Not to overstep my bounds. Okay, you're going to be cut off. We have a couple of troops here to deal with guys like them. <clears throat> it's debatable whether they should stay there actually. Um, that's might actually be most prudent for now because and then at the very least they can't move towards this which would be a nuisance to say the least i will leave these guys to deal with them that should also be enough after these guys they will start moving on the next turn then Right, and we do have these crossings on the next turn, so let's move forward. Now we'll, yeah, you guys will be out of supply for now, but that's okay. Hmm. do kind of need this one for now. Mm. Let's take a look. Yeah. Okay, so let's move you up to here. <coughs> So operations are suppressed, but that's not an issue. And let's get rid of this. We can fix it on the next turn. Right. So we're going to have to start moving towards the Alborg airport. Take a look as well. So, as for supplies up here, I have to kind of like constantly reinforce these guys in order to keep them in supply. I can do that though, that's not that big of a deal. Let's make sure they can destroy that bridge. Just to have a little bit of fun, I want to take uh, this Wehrmacht Befeld Denemark and Odense as well. We know that we're not actually going to Copenhagen. We can't get there, unfortunately. That would have been great fun, actually, if we could have also taken that, but... Uh, ah, well. <clears throat> oh, we do have an enemy unit there. They will be cut off. It doesn't seem like they have any possible supply up here unless they put their depot right on that uh, airfield. So they will be cut off. And I think that's it. Oh, not you. Um, sure, you should be in supply up there. Let's take a look. Hmm. Interesting indeed that they're trying to go through here. Maybe they, the AI realizes that it cannot hold that river crossing and then instead it, it just decides to attack. 
not really sure what the thought pattern there is. But... Let's just, just go around. I don't actually need to attack it. Ah. Because... Okay, so we're actually not too bad on the supplies up there. I need to get this uh, rail or this road going. Yeah, I have to say I'm actually indeed a bit confused about what they're doing here. Why would you... Go and try to get there. Because they'll be cut off anyway. I think they already are. Yeah, their supply is terrible. Okay, so we're in good supply now, or at least that's how it looks like. Let's start moving. I want to try and get to these crossings as well, if we can help it. Um, that does mean that... Let's take a look here. Okay, Stendhal's empty. <laughs> Interesting. Um... Oh, you were still cut out. I thought they, that uh, they would be in supply there. Hmm, that's a bit weird. That's fine. They should all be in supply now. But it, it will take a while before they have all their points back, probably. And I should still be careful of these. But it should be possible to clear them just with infantry. Mm, I did say that I want... Oh no, I have this rail line running. Which I think does go over. Let's take a, a look that yes it does okay so there's no need to worry about going up through here necessarily although even that might still be a good idea I'll have to think about it Still somewhat useful. But even more ideal would be if I could get any unit to already reach that line. At least we're uh, encircling the FSA okay, which means that they cannot destroy any bridges for now, which I guess does have its uses. Nah. That's not super necessary. I'm still out of range. I'll just wait a turn. I have the time.
to still clear those out. As long as it doesn't get rid of logistics, I kind of want to do that. Uh, yeah. Oh. You were going to stay there. But. I actually think I'm going to remove that now. But not this one. Okay. Ah, it's a major river. It kind of looked like it w might not have been. That is what I was hoping for anyway. <laughs> ah, well. Okay, so we do know that these guys will be out of supply for two turns after this one. Um, I might even keep the tanks already, move them back depending on what, what is there. Still all in supply, so let's keep the Canadian first out there too. All right, you would be out of supply, all right, yeah. And that's it then. There's really no need to attack those guys already. They will also be out of supply anyway. Yes, yes, you're destroying that. I get it. Okay, let's try to go for this first. I do need this rail, so I have to be careful. Their logistics are also not fixed. But I can already build a few of these to make my life a bit easier on subsequent turns there as well. Armored unit. Uh, it can to do faint attacks. Right, let's um build pontoon bridges there too. There we go. I have to wait anyway, so in that case, I'd rather take the Owen 3, which will never become a damage. Or at least I've never seen it. Whereas the Owen 2 can, of course, still become a 1 and 1 or a 2 and 1. Um, so, in that sense, it's uh, a lot safer to do it like that. Do 
They just barely can make it, but now they're back in supply. Oh, let's just take this. There's nothing that these guys can do now that would actually be harmful to me anymore. So I'm actually okay with anything there. Hmm. Let's actually move you here, you there. And since I don't need to take Wilhelm's Haven until turn seven, I can just take my time. Still have two turns for Hamburg. Just for fun, I'd like to take at least all of those areas. Doesn't particularly matter, but uh, it looks nice. It's empty. Hmm. Well, uh, that's not uh, uh, not too bad. I don't know whether investing into the Canadian first is that great of an idea. Like, do I really necess Do I really need that? I don't know how big of a part they're gonna play in Operation Unthinkable. But I think spending 60 points on something that might not return is not necessarily what I want. Let's spend it on the uh, set piece attack because that's something that we're going to do often enough anyway, I think. So it's still useful, but it costs a lot less. They do have an um, infantry or something else of some sorts in there. I have to take it by turn seven. One, two, three, four. That's turn five. You'll already be there. Yeah, well, the thing is that I don't... Oh, they have an infantry unit there. Let, let's actually move back before they go in there and take that Canadian first. Now, what I can do... Is this will allow me move this up a lot further so I can actually support this once they arrive there the only way you can take this is if it's like with para drops you could actually attack these and then go in in here but it doesn't really get you a whole lot would be fun though. Like just do it for giggles. Alright. I think that's all. These guys are a bit dangerous still. But we'll see. As I expected, they did go there. A 
Let's uh, push them back. No attacks across major rivers, huh? So they need their engineering back. Suppressing is probably not going to help them out a lot. Technically, if I really need to, I could always use one of my airborne units. But I expect that won't be necessary. You won't get there a second time. It would have graced you if you at least kicked them out, <laughs> but... Uh, Okay, let's, let's do it the hard way then. That's fine. We luckily have plenty of uh, time at least to do this. They don't get any reinforcements, right? No. Just gotta make sure that I, at the very least, get uh, supplies when I get there. Whatever unit is in there will now also automatically be cut off. All oh, right. I would almost forget about that. That can be taken on the next turn regardless. No worries. Fix the rail. I mean, it looks like they're out of supply, but that will work actually fine. In a way, it's uh, it would be nice to be able to see that there will be supply because I, I repaired this now I know that my units will be in supply and that I don't need to worry but uh, yeah, still Let's actually take care of the supply for one last time. Because that will also help my uh, supply up here. Can do a little bit better. Mm, 
Let's not uh, allow them to do anything uh, with that. Ideally, there's an Owen 3. No. Okay. Barely not enough to fix the supply there. Uh, I can't see them, but I think. They should be there. Barely not uh, able to get them in supply, huh? That way. Okay, which one of you is least elite? Doesn't actually matter. We'll just move these on the railroad so we know that they're always in supply. do anything Oof, got uh, scared there for a second City piece there, huh? Eluded me, just like these. How much chance would the airborne unit have for now? Definitely not enough. Ah, well. <laughs> it would have been fun to take that. But let's not uh, overdo it here. Take reward C47. That's airdrop. No, we're good. To the moon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was a interesting little mission. Not too hard. Uh, naturally, I, I would almost say. Um, kind of like... Uh, the historical mission end on the Elbe, there was also very little up here in the north. We didn't get into Denmark then, of course, but um, basically once you've breached the initial German defenses and such, like there was there was nothing left up here. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's not surprising that this is a, a relatively easy mission. 
But uh, of course we are playing this ahead of time. It's not... Uh... end of April or May right now. I don't actually know when uh, end of the album starts, but uh, yeah, we're a lot earlier now. All right, that's the first of the last four missions. Operation Stapler will be back with the next one, which is Alpine Readout, which uh, will sure to spark my excitement as well. Uh, I'm having a ton of fun with this uh, new content. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's uh, <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I uh, I like it. All right. Um, thanks for watching this one, and I'll see you hopefully once again on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.